quick questions. Number one, why can't people take responsibility for their own actions or inactions? And secondly, why can't some people accept that no matter how much we try to bubble wrap this planet, sometimes bad things are going to happen? The latest quest along the lines of, please change the world to accommodate me, emanates from Calgary father Adam Drees. He's upset over the fact that Tim Hortons serves hot tea that is, well, <laughs> hot. You see, Drees wasn't paying attention at a Timmy's recently and some tea spilled on his toddler, Nathan. That mishap caused burns to the boy. Now, my heart goes out to Nathan. I'm sure getting burned in such a fashion was painful and traumatic. But my sympathy begins to evaporate upon seeing Daddy Drees going on the social media warpath, urging Tim Hortons to turn down the heat when it comes to its hot beverages. I think I speak for all tea drinkers here when I say, I want hot tea, not tepid tea. And why should we have to pay a price for the fact that Drees was, well, negligent? For its part, Tim Hortons says they're aware of the incident and they're reviewing the matter, but let's hope they don't actually acquiesce to this guy's wishes. The fact of the matter is that in order to brew a proper cup of tea, water has to reach a boiling point. Otherwise, it's not going to taste good. Gee, I wonder if Daddy Drees will now petition Dairy Queen to make their blizzards less cold. Hey, wouldn't want Junior to get a brain freeze headache after all. You know, this incident reminds me of a story I covered for the Sun News Network four years ago regarding the crusade of Donna Guzatia of Vaughan, Ontario. You see, it wasn't enough for Mama G that her peanut allergic daughter was attending a 100% peanut free school. Oh no. You see, Mama G was concerned about the oak trees at a nearby park. She was worried that some acorns from those trees might roll onto the school playground, whereupon the kid would come in contact with the thingies. Oh, mama. Now, forget about the fact that these, those with peanut allergies are not allergic to acorns. Mama G said just the mere sight of those acorns would cause anxiety for her child. Or other kids might use acorns to bully her. Huh? So it was that Mama G wanted the city to chop down those old oak trees Oh, at taxpayers' expense, of course, she only backed down from her idiocy after receiving ridicule from, well, <laughs> people the world over, much like the ridicule Drees is receiving for his crusade to turn hot tea into sort of iced tea. You know, I once bought a jar of peanuts that had the most incredible warning label. It read, caution, may contain nuts. I thought this warning was both redundant and downright stupid. After all, this was a jar that contained nothing but nuts. Yet with the likes of Daddy Drees and Mama G, now I finally get it. Companies have to do everything they can to protect themselves from those other kinds of nuts, i.e. overprotective parents that want to make our lives miserable thanks to their own irrational fears or irresponsible behavior. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.